Looks like it's time for more Liberal Crime Squad. Woo! Case to conservatism. With six liberals indoctrinated, 13 conservatives killed, and a considerable amount of funds taxed as opposed to funds spent. No liberals martyred as of yet, and no conservatives kidnapped. Good job, team. Woo! When last we left off, well, first let me just like the fucking game window. When last we left off, we recruited Valerie, which some of you pointed out uh, actually has the same last name as uh, the founder here with his conservative name, so perhaps there's some semblance of relation, particularly given the fact that she's so, so heavily skilled. Uh, Valerie here is clearly not Fabio's mother, perhaps uh, a considerably older sibling, or uh, maybe a cousin, or some other form of relation, maybe an aunt, who was uh, disowned by the rest of the family, but Grimoth here found her and everything turned out alright. How about that? And we have Sue here. I'm not going to give them any names, just yet. And also, from this point forward, those of you who request or joke about uh, having liberals name with a, without uh, putting your money first as any good conservative would, I'm blocking you. There we go. We also have two sleepers. You have been warned. Continuing to listen to the playlist, which I include links to in the video description. I think we're good to go all around. Let's, uh, we need to get another liberal, uh, one more mutant to join the team. So let's head back to the crack house here. Woo Need one more liberal to fully fill up the liberal crime squad. And uh, he or she has to be just as capable as all the others. Let's go ahead and wait around. And find myself some mutants. Mutants! Yoo-hoo! Come along, mutants. Mutants, you're not playing ball. There we go. There's one. Uh, he's in his 50s, so it's likely that he doesn't have a satisfactory agility, but he certainly could. As you age in this game, your attributes will change. Your ability scores will rise and lower to, you know, reflect the human process of getting older. How about that? Do 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 do. Only found two, would like four more. If I find more than one qualified mutant to join the team, I'll certainly uh, go ahead and recruit them as well. They just won't end up being a part of the huge liberal crime squad. They'll be a secondary force to be reckoned with, for sure. But I can only carry along six people here. And it's five? Yeah, one more. Alright, come along, one more. There we go. He's in She's in her 20s. Alright, now let's go ahead and get some dates. For Someone asked, uh, what the hell the, the stupid... the pickup lines were in brackets. That's a reflection of the fact that free speech is currently at C+, arch conservative. Uh, consequently, the pickup lines are gonna look that silly. It's a joke. See. <laughs> Rudy. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can get some dates as well for first Jose, and now Alice. Again, these dates aren't going to mean anything, I'm not going to follow up on them. I just want to train up some seduction here, because why the hell not? It matters. This might be a point, you know, it might end up being a saving grace as I manage to seduce a powerful conservative who might otherwise set off an alarm. That's really the the primary utility of seduction, I find, to save me whenever I'm neck deep in conservative territory. Also, okay, I have a date there, and I suppose at this point I'll start training up the seduction for Valerie and Sue. I reckon. I mean, as valid members and valuable members of the Liberal Crime Squad, they certainly deserve attention and focus uh, bestowed upon them as well. You know, everyone in this major squad needs to be able to do a bit of everything, which is why I wish to target powerful people, uh, particularly folks that tend to have high agility, but also folks who have a wide variety of attributes. The skills can come afterwards, but 
attributes are much harder to get than skills. I'd rather be a gifted individual than uh, someone who is well-skilled, because uh, someone who is well-skilled might not necessarily have the gifts, whereas someone who uh, is gifted can uh, get the skills. Uh, this is speaking with, uh, in regards to someone who is a gifted individual inherently, and who rode and coasted on those gifts, uh, much to the dismay of, well, pretty much himself, as he grew older and realized that, uh, you do need to develop skills as well, you can't just rely on abilities. Perhaps if I were more able, as in, had eidetic memory, then uh, maybe I could. But you do need to develop critical thinking skills. Which is something I wasn't necessarily keen to do back in the day. Regardless, Sue's time to shine here. Come along, Sue. Keep wanting to make fucking Johnny Cash jokes. Sue is a... An amusing name, anyway. It's an old-timer name, too. Don't think you'll find a lot of folks named Sue in this day and age. Certainly there are people who aren't named Sue. Just not a popular name anymore. Sort of like my real-life name. And the real-life names of other people. Don't find a whole lot of people named Harry anymore, either. And there are others. Bunches of old people names, basically. Of course, you have even more older names to be uh, grammatically incorrect there. It's just Danforth. Danforth, the man with 18 intelligence that I believe I referenced in the last session. Do, 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 do. God damn, it's taking you a long time, Sue. Then again, you do have a charisma of four. So, this is likely not your area of expertise. That was the seven. Killer. Not bad. And I always have been. They say once you taste blood, it changes you forever. I wouldn't know, because it's been a part of my diet since day one. What is worth killing for, you might ask? I wouldn't know, because I never had any other choice. I have always followed orders. I'm taking another man's life. All I can say is, it's both easier and more difficult than you might imagine. There we go. Had to let the hitman there finish his spiel, and Sue's very close there to skill get. Mm, one more, perhaps? There we go. Good to go. Let's go ahead and leave. If, for those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, how this skill display looks, someone asked, I think it was like Marcus Lucas Ward or Martin Lucas Ward, I don't remember the name. But uh, you have here on the left column uh, the total amount of skill points you have. And on the right column, the, the amount of skill points you have with your current weapon. Grimith has seven skill points in martial arts. Everyone else has jack shit. So there you go. And of course, when you look at the individual section, you have Mal and Max. And whenever the, the line lights up light blue, that means it's currently Max. Whenever it's lighted up as white, either on this screen or on the individual liberal screen, that means that you've got to level up in something. So how about that? You're welcome. Let's leave. Let's go ahead and pay you all money, because you all could potentially be useful. Not sure yet. We'll break off these dates. I have no purpose or really any value in them at all. I'm going to head to the Summer Apartments, where I have one of my sleeper at. Steal some stuff. Thankfully, that teenager was a moderate and not a conservative which allowed me to basically escape. Now I'm going to see if I can train up my disguise while walking around here, unlocking the locks. And if we do end up getting into a fight, Grimith is the only capable martial artist here, but I still have five bodies, which basically means that we can lay down a serious beating. Let's go ahead and uh, head back down to the first floor now. Unfortunately, the corporate manager there spotted us. We're just going to go ahead and exit, play it safe. You could definitely be useful there with 14 heart. I'll go ahead and slap down some money. Probably not you, just talk casually. Definitely not you. Eh, probably not you either. Or you. Or you. Ah, let's go ahead and head back to the summer apartments, because we can. And nothing is stopping us. Hello, prostitute who was actually moderate. Well, 
like not finding conservatives. It's a nice change of pace. Acting casual, and you'll see those columns there under skill light up as people get various amounts of skills, either in watching me as I pick locks or through disguise being trained. Although we're not encountering a lot of good situations for us to be training disguise. Alright, the college student noticed us. And much to the chagrin and dismay of these folks, I'm sure. So Grimeth, Alice, Jose, Valerie, and Sue walked into summer apartments. Then Grimeth had the burp. Into the shredder. And we began fighting an actor and corporate manager. I jump kicked an actor and hit his body, breaking his lower spine. Alice followed up with a punch to his left arm. Jose tried to go off on his own and deck that corporate manager, but he missed. But Valerie, she hit his body, and Sue picked on the very crippled actor with his right leg. Corporate manager swung and punched Alice in the body. The actor quietly asked for coffee. I have no idea. Perhaps in this grim, dark, gritty reality of 2009, coffee has restored the properties for conservatives. Regardless, I gracefully struck at the corporate manager after having crippled the actor and I hit his body. Alice followed up on the actor, and so did Jose. Valerie joined me in beating up the corporate manager, and Sue hit the actor while he was down. He asked for coffee again. The corporate manager reached out and moaned. Swung at the fallen actor. The actor sweat profusely. He murmured something good about Jesus and died. Alice punched the fallen corporate manager, as did Jose, Valerie, and Sue, and he hollered in pain. I gracefully struck at the fallen man, and I hit him in the face. He cried silently for his mother, breathing slowly, and not at all. I took their loot, and I got the fuck out of there. Marianne! For health! <laughs> Could definitely be better, but you have clearly surpassed the absolute minimum threshold of nine where I have to begin contemplation and the the re more realistic <laughs> threshold of ten. That's where if the, I really start considering things. Because you're at eleven. The health is unfortunate, but you just won't be able to take a hit as good enough. But uh, most certainly, I will let you join the LCS as a full member. And come to the abandoned steel plant. Not you, Bert. And not you, Jamie, or you, Allison, or Norman, or Sydney. All right, we have ourselves a full team here, folks. Hurrah! Now, what's Marianne here good with? She's 22 years old, and she has some martial arts skills, well, security and stealth. Very nice. Very, very nice. So I'll hop in my sports car, my stolen black sports car. The color of your soul. <laughs> Sweet, another cheap suit. Now where do we plan on going from here? I don't know. What I do know is that we're going to continue to draw attention by staying here, and that's not exactly a good thing. Let's go ahead and um, invest in this location. We're looking to install perfectly legal anti-aircraft gun on the roof? Oh, sweet! Oh! Uh, earlier today, I took the opportunity to actually review the change log of uh, various edits that have been uh, made to the game, and I must say, it um rather pleased by some of the changes that have between 4.04.0 and 4.06.4, which has itself labeled as 4.06.3, much to my eternal confusion. Let's go ahead and set up a business front now. Ulmer Manpower, LLC. That will uh, help in regards to dispersing uh, suspicion and uh, getting having greater secrecy attached to this location. Uh, could could there still be a raid perhaps planned on this very location? Certainly so. And uh, we are definitely interested in uh, acquiring sleepers. But before we can do that, we have to become more, uh, more effective in a variety of fashions. And we are certainly not effective at all under any stretch of the imagination. Let's go ahead and take the entire team. I've got some stuff to sell. But I also have some money. I need more lab coats. Well, how's that area? No, it's under high security. Should probably stay away from that. 
Um, lab coats, and I just want to check that area out. Lab coats, and perhaps work clothes as well. So, let's head to the Oblient. All of us together. Go team. Let's go ahead and uh, buy three more lab coats. And six pairs of work clothes. And that will be all that we need from here. This conservative crime squad struck at the animal shelter. Those bastards. How could they? Put on work clothes for everyone. Because now we are going to head to the aluminum factory. Have a ourselves a party. Griffith unlocks the door and we strike. We could uh, begin freeing these child workers that are out and about since... Well, really, my squad is free, so they I don't have any spare room for them to join me, which is a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and deal with this janitor by dropping a pickup line. Apparently not. And unfortunately, the alarm was raised. Let's go ahead and go. Struck at the aluminum factory. We're going to go ahead and head back to the aluminum factory. Fucking janitor looking at me suspiciously, already triggering uh, conservative suspicion. We didn't make it that fucking far at all before that happened. Terrible. Corporate manager was like, hey, hey. We struck the aluminum factory again. Now we're going back to the aluminum factory. These characters are going to have to learn. Baby steps, goddammit, baby steps. But they will learn. And they will get juice the entire time while they're learning. Oh, I could have freed that kid. I could free those kids. Just smash some shit, and they're all crewing juice, those who certainly can. Marianne there's one of her vandalism. We're doing a good job. You know, efficient means of increasing the characteristics of my teammates here. Unfortunately, we were noticed. We need to start heading for the exit, for the conservatives are now alarmed. And we're free! Woohoo! Now let's go back. Now nah, let's go to the auto plant. Now, woohoo! Unfortunately, the janitor was not alarmed by us at all. We made it in. That's ah, a situation where there's a bunch of moderates there. Nifty. Free those kids. Just free the kids. Save the children. As opposed to my normal battle cry of fuck the children, right? <laughs> These weird chemicals aren't very useful, but taking them does give me uh, one juice each, and that is certainly an achievement unto itself. Now, of course, you want to make sure you don't rescue the liberals in the same square that you're in with a fucking conservative. That's just bad news bears. You're dragging horrible attention to yourself. You're doing a good job of avoiding getting noticed thus far. Free those kids. And those. Save the children! Alright, getting some disguise here. Very nice. As we're continuing to succeed, to succeed and uh, not being discovered. Close to the exit again. We could certainly dive out if I so wished it, but... Let's, let's continue taking risks. I mean, we have a full squad now. Wouldn't be right unless I tried to get them all killed, huh? <laughs> well, there's some loot there. Sweet. And of course, this is going to draw attention to the fact that, you know, you know, child labor and everything, it's terrible, it's horrendous. Look at what these horrible companies are doing. Stuff like that. I'm influencing the issues, everyone. That matters. I'm actually making a difference in society instead of just doing stupid shit like punching people. How about that? Didn't know I was actually capable of that, huh? Go ahead and release those kids, as well as that one. We jam out here to Mr. Z. Go ahead and go free too, kid. Now, of course, if I didn't have a full squad, all these children would be fucked. Because then, you know, some of them might end up joining the Liberal Crime Squad depending on how many empty slots I had available. That's completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. I have standards here, okay? I'm not just some regular old run-of-the-mill fucking douchebag here. Very high standards here. And Sue there has not increased her disguise, so we're going to hang around here long enough. 
I'm waiting for uh, more conservatives there. Come on, Sue. Wow. That's barely increasing at all. That's definitely unfortunate. That's going to be a pain in the ass to level up. Okay. But I will certainly take the time. Whee! Meanwhile, save the kids. <laughs> How are we looking there? We're getting close. Getting close. There we go. Done and done. Let's go ahead and leave now, folks. Alice and Jose nearly have 200 juice. Valerie and Sue are both over 100. And so is Marianne. Beautiful. The LCS struck the auto plant, completely eviscerating it. Good times. Good times indeed. That closed down the auto plant outright. <laughs> Fantastic. Hmm. What do I want to go next? I bought lab coats for everyone. Do I want to risk heading there? Despite the fact that my disguises aren't fantastic? Sure, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, they both have high security. Hmm. Well, shit. You can wear the expensive dress. And you crazy characters down there can just wear normal clothes. And we will head to the Blum Apartments. It's an interesting way for us to continue getting juice ups, and we'll also see what we can do about perhaps recruiting this landlord to the Liberal Crime Squad. Wouldn't be such a bad thing. Uh oh, yoga instructor, who has uh, raised the alarm, which is very unfortunate for that socialite, as I one hit kill him. <laughs> see if I can uh, hook up there. That closed down the Blum Apartments outright. Son of a bitch. The Cotrell Apartments there are open. Let's go ahead and say hello. Hello. Let's go ahead and find a close item to steal so that we can start training up disguise. Very valuable to do. As you've all noticed, the ability to have an appropriate disguise, as well as characters who are trained and, uh, you know, blending in with their surroundings, immensely useful as you play this game. Make no mistake about that. You know, it can save you a lot of things, and stealth can help you too. Uh, basically a way to save you whenever you don't have the appropriate disguise. <laughs> Which can definitely happen in a lot of situations. It most certainly can. Alright, let's do some Red Waltz action here. Courtesy of DJ Pretzel himself. Come along now, as I unlock these doors, showing all of the liberals the way by which they can unlock doors. Just imagine, like, six people progressing through the halls and corridors of a fucking, you know, a high-rise apartment building. <laughs> ah, shit, an eminent scientist. Of course, he's gonna spot me and ruin everything. That dick. I should not be in here. What the hell am I doing? I'm from fucking level four. I got noticed at all in that? I'd be a long way from the exit. The fuck, Grimoth? <laughs> fucking living on the edge, folks. All crazy and shit. Yep, I should have tried to seduce him, but I didn't. Regardless, we got out of there all right. And I don't think I picked up anything that was super cool and awesome. Did get another black turtleneck. Those are nice. For the purposes of blending in with your surroundings, they give a stealth bonus. I believe the expensive dress does as well, as it's black. I don't remember. Been a while since I checked the code. But I'm gonna keep it on anyway. We're gonna head back to the apartments. Woo! Let's go ahead and dive in here, away from the security guard, and we're good to go. I'm continue to show all these folks how to deal with locks, because rest assured there may come a situation where Grimoth, uh, the founder here, is incapacitated or he's killed. As such, you know, knowledge of dealing with locks will be necessary for everyone else in the Liberal Crime Squad to have. You know, if he's, like, captured and thrown in prison or what have you. There can be all sorts of situations where he will need to 
you know, where knowledge of pretty much everything is required for the other characters. As such, I have no qualms with uh, passing on that knowledge to the others. And you can see their skill columns light up as they are being tutored by the mighty and incredibly powerful Grimoth. My virtual avatar. He's doing a good job, everyone. Wouldn't you say? Fabio there. <laughs> Not as awesome as Jesus Carlton Bruner, but definitely better than Albert Gilbert. Since he fucking punched a soldier and died. <laughs> Continuing to progress through. We're trying to get into more encounters, because we haven't seen a lot of those. Well, we are now. Let's begin making our way for the exit. Because of that. Fucking hanging judge. You ruined everything. Oh shit! Grimoth knows who to hit. He strikes at the security guard and hit his body, breaking his upper spine. The NP5 SMG slipped from the security guard's grasp. Alice McNeil, seeing the guard is crippled, punches the sculptor and hits his body. Jose punches the fallen security guard, as does Valerie, but Sue joins Alice and punches the sculptor in the face. The security guard gets hit in the right arm. The sculptor grapples with Sue and hits her right arm. The security guard's like, oh god, my spine! I, seeing the crippled security guard in the ground, who dropped the very powerful SMG, grapple with the sculptor and hit his body. Alice follows suit, and as Jose and Valerie, Sue punches the security guard while he's down, but Marianne hits the sculptor in the face, but the sculptor's showing no signs of quitting. Security guard shouts, Father, why have you forsaken me? And dies in a heat. We're in a very dangerous situation here, folks. Make no mistake. Whew, but we got away. And we have another landlord on the team. Donald Slayton. You can stay in the boom apartments as a sleeper agent, my friend. Fantastic. We have ourselves an MP5 SMG. Woohoo! And a security uniform. Which is very nice, too. Make no mistake. Alright. Doing a good job, team. Doing a good job. Let's see, uh, Alice and Jose are both above 200 juice. They're urban commandos, just like Grimoth here. Uh, Valerie, Sue, and Marianne are revolutionaries. But that's definitely important, too. Okay. 18 counts of murder, 1 count of breaking and entering, 80 counts of assault, and 38 counts of vandalism. Yikes. I've definitely had crazier criminal records. Two aluminum factories? What? That's absurd! Let's head there and cause total destruction and chaos. Freedom! Now, of course, I'm concerned about, you know, the moderates perhaps becoming alarmed by me destroying equipment right in front of them, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, all those children I left behind. No. <laughs> I'd rather not alienate the people if I can avoid it. I forget, there's so many changes between the versions that I just don't recall exactly what can alienate the populace and what can't, what can upset them and what can't. I think I went over this uh, Liberal Crime Squad Reborn series last year. My old memory is just not as good as it used to be, whippersnappers. And yeah, bunch of fucking chemicals, not useful at all, but... It's giving me some juice, some street cred, as we revitalize ourselves and embrace the glory of being an elite liberal. Oh shit, they're alarmed now. We're pretty damn far from the exit. Fucking janitor, you are toast. Told you. Silly janitor. You know, it'd certainly be an interesting situation. I believe, uh... Uh, one of the folks who's primarily responsible for developing Liberal Crime Squad made mention of this in the Curses uh, uh, subform. Keister Conservatism of uh, working on a situation where uh, he develops the settings so that, you know, initiative is actually taking place during combat so that perhaps the Liberal Crime Squad would not get first strike every single time. That would certainly be a very interesting way to... And uh, that would definitely increase the difficulty of the game significantly so. There is no denying that at all. Let's go ahead and uh, strip down the liberals here, and we'll actually call this a video. Woo, we're all naked. Yeah, spring break. Woo. 
Join me next time on Let's Get On The Liberal Crime Squad, where uh, perhaps we head back to the garment makers and we see what's up, Buttercup, or something stupid like that. Take care, everyone. Talk to you later.